Hey there everyone, Rags18 Slash Shadow Sandbag here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In this episode, we are going to take on Archie. Um, I am really happy right now because, as you probably noticed, all my Pokemon are back to full health. Do you want to know why that is? It's because now, with this new emulator I'm using, I can speed up time, which is good because that means I can go back and forth really fast. Of course, now this seems really slow, but that's besides the point. I should probably talk, stop talking about what emulators I'm using. Oh uh, yeah, let's keep Iron Maiden out there, actually. So, um, yeah, this is Archie, the pirate himself, and we just got swaggered. Actually, I'm going to be in Boston for the next couple of days, so, well, actually, if everything goes to plan... This should be released on Friday, and then you'll be seeing it on Friday, which will be when I am in Boston. So yeah, at the time of recording this on Wednesday, aka the day that the last episode went up, I went, I um, I'm about to leave. That's what I'm trying to say. Just don't, don't question it. Okay, Iron Maid snapped out of confusion, that's good. Probably because I stopped rambling about time and space. Uh, <laughs> that was that was actually pretty good timing. Okay, good job, Iron Maiden. Now kill it with fire! Or thunder. Ah, oh, he has a super potion, of course. Why wouldn't he have a super potion? I don't know, maybe to not be annoying? Okay, uh, let's use dig again. Swagger. Okay, so uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, uh, black and white. Black and white have been out for a while now. Actually, just yesterday I finally got around to going to um, the online rank system thing, where you fight other people with similar ranks to you. And I don't know why, cause this just seemed really weird to me. I think I faced like six people, at least three, maybe even four, had Gengars. And that, I just, that was so weird to me. Because, I mean... Why would they have Gengar? It just doesn't really make too much sense to me. Especially since it's black and white with all these cool new Pokemon. I just didn't understand why they would use Gengar, a Pokemon from Generation 1 that I've never really thought was extremely powerful. Like, I could, I, oh, that was awesome. I mean, I could understand them maybe using, like, a Dragonite or something from Generation 1, but I, I, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. I'm, I'm gonna keep Iron Maiden out here anyway. Just see if I can finish him with only one Pokemon, because that'd be awesome. That's a high level Pokemon. Slash for massive. <laughs> Six damage. Okay, use Shockwave. And that did good damage. I uh, remember, Sharpedo has the ability Rough Skin, so don't try to attack it directly, or else you'll take damage. I mean, it'll also take damage, but. Don't attack it with physical attacks, that's what I'm trying to say. Because if you do, then you will get damaged by its skin, because it's very rough. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, Iron Maiden, just keep using Shockwave. Spam Shockwave so much. Just keep spamming, just keep spamming, just keep spamming, spamming, spamming. What do we do? We spam Shockwave. I'm really glad I'm getting to record these because, like I said, I'm not going to be in town for like, a, I don't know, not a week, probably like five days. And my brother was using the webcam, which I, which is what I use for my mic. So I was going to be really annoyed if I couldn't record because my brother was being stupid. Iron Man leveled up, hooray. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, check out my new background, the Nintendo U-Boy made it. What? I lost to a mere child like you? And we get money. He's like, yeah, you deserve it. <laughs> I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. I got a bad feeling about this. It's a trap! I didn't do anything. I did the red orb. 
Where did Kyogre go? Hmm? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm? It's raining heavily? Good. That should have happened. That's why we awakened Kyogre. To realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? Drink far harder than we envisioned? You're in danger? That can't be. That's not possible. There's no way that can be right. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought? You've, fi you've finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen if the world is to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown the deepening sea. What? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, the, inf the infuriated grout on him? So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is, is the world that we desired. Rag Rags 18. Come on, you have to get out of here, too. <laughs> That's a lot of rain. What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry before we... We have to do something before the situation goes goes completely out of control. Rags 18, don't say anything. I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. But the way things are now, I doubt that we humans would be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to, the, to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They have set the balance of nature. Rags 18, what is happening? This is terrible. I'm just scorching heat wave ended. This deluge began. This does not stop all of Hoenn. No, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. One of the world is taking place there. There's no point in arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. Rag 18, I don't know what you intend to do. But don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Can we finally move? Yes, the cutscene's over. Finally. Took long enough. So, I guess the thing we should do now, considering everything that's happened, is go to Sutopolis. Let's check that on our map. That is here. We're here. Okay. Now, to get into Sutopolis, you actually have to go underwater. And actually, I better put on a repel while I think of it. Uh, so, I don't think I mentioned this yet, and if I did, then I'm just insane. But, I am very happy because with my new. Yeah, I did mention this, didn't I? Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Uh, let's go underwater here. Looks nice and interesting. I love the underwater music. Just listen to it. Yeah, if you see any rocks like that, the one that's right in front of me, then you should usually check them underwater. Or anywhere, really. But especially underwater. I love the underwater music so much. Now I don't have to hate it at the same time because of the fog. Okay, let's see. Um, is, let's check my Pokenav again. Sutopolis so can be kind of hard to find. Oh, no, I back. back. But it's, after you know where it is, then it doesn't. Yeah, see, there's Sutopolis. However, we still have to get inside Sutopolis, and how do we do that? by going underwater. Also, see that see that stuff right there? You can catch Pokemon in it. It's grass. Has a, there are a few different things. I think you can catch Clam Pearl, Chinchow, and Relicanth. And we just got a big pearl. Still, I love this music so much. 
I'm being quiet so you can hear the music. Okay, let's go up. Okay. No more awesome music. Another cutscene. Hi Groudon, hi Kyogre, remember me? Oh, we can't run between them like Ash did in the first Pokemon movie. Giant Pokemon suddenly appeared in the middle of the city. Why are they smashing into each other like that? Why can't they be friends, those Pokemon? Yeah, so most of the places in Sutopolis are blocked off right now. I think I'll give you a little tur- a, a tur, no, a tour of what we can do here. So far, we can go to this Pokemon Center. And, um, there are these people over here that are blocking the way. And over here is the gym. We're going to get to that in a second. And Archie and Max are here. Groudon, please, please, stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going all Hoenn, not just through Topless, will be utterly ruined. Okay, but what's wrong? Look over here, it's the red orb. Calm down, Kyogre. It's no good. It's not responding at all. In case you're wondering, they don't have awesome voices anymore because they've realized their mistakes and are pretty much quitting. Those Pokemon fighting, Groudon and Kyogre. The two Super Engine Pokemon were waking from a long sleep. Now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Raggedy team, you being here I'll take to mean that you prepared to become involved in the crisis. Well, then there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Lots of cutscenes in this episode. It's weird because you don't really think cutscenes in Pokemon together. Listen, Rags18. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. Also, I'm being quiet during the cutscenes because they're cutscenes, not because I have run out of commentary. No, r really. I'm, I'm not lying. I'm being truthful here. Okay, here we are. Inside, you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. Let's see. So I think we're going to go and talk to Wallace. But should we do it now or next time? Hmm... Ooh, more fog and look, blue gems and red gems. Oh, this must be him. Let's talk to him next time. I got you, didn't I? Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.